welcome back to another video guys in today's video we're going to do um a stew satan meat now if you watch previous video you will see i do um i'd, I'd use half of the other piece of this to do um the curry um version no i'm gonna do the stew one today um with this i'm gonna pair it with some nice couscous and gungo peas pigeon peas if you want to continue watching this video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like the video and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this one okay guys the first thing we're going to do is to um get our water ready we want to flavor up the water for the couscous so first we're going to add in some um thyme a scotch bonnet pepper and what I did, I poke a hole in the scotch bunny pepper only to release the, fil the flavor, guys. Now we're going to add in some salt, our garlic and ginger. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our coconut milk. And we want to release those lovely flavors before adding our peas. Okay, guys, I'm going to add in my pigeon peas. And I'm using one cup. For our meat here, guys, what we're going to do is to just cut it apart and pick it right it doesn't have to be perfect here and how I stored it guys was in the freezer section you know I suggest you guys um, marinate this overnight but because of the video purpose I am going to let it sit for around 20 minutes before cooking and this is a great soy free alternative for my vegans that doesn't consume um soy this works pretty good now guys i'm going to go in with some onion some garlic and ginger my thyme and scotch bonnet pepper some scallion and also some all-purpose seasoning and it's okay to get your hands dirty and rub the seasoning into our meat especially when you're cooking seitan meat guys you want to make sure it's properly seasoned because if it's not seasoned properly guys yeah I, I guarantee you you're not going to like it so you have to make sure your seasons all throughout okay we're gonna let this sit for around 20 minutes or so covered and marinate okay guys to our pot here we're going to add in our um curry and you can see that i've let everything cook out nicely in the pot our pepper change color that mean all the flavors is in our pot all right what we're going to do now is to add some curry just a little bit and now we're going to add in our couscous and i have here two cups of couscous so you can just let it sit in the water and rehydrate now we're going to add in some oil because I'm going to burn some sugar to make the um to brown our seitan meat. Now guys, to our pot here, I'm going to add in like around a tablespoon of sugar, brown sugar. What I want it to do is to just brown up the, the meat. This is around a few minutes guys and as you can see the color has changed. What I'm going to do is to just give it a little stir. You don't want to burn your sugar too too much because that is what's going to let the um your meat taste bitter so i think that can take a little bit more color and don't be afraid guys it's it, if you do it the right way it won't be bitter now i'm going to go in with my meat something like this guys not even halfway where we want to be at this point guys you're going to just rinse out the bowl that the meat was marinating in and just add a little bit of water and just leave it there to cook medium to low heat we're going to make some spinners because I don't have any 
Irish potato so I just substitute for the spinners all right all right guys I have one cup of wheat flour and to our wheat flour here guys I'm gonna add in some salt you want to make your dough not too hard right With a damp paper towel, we're going to cover it and let the dough rest for a little while. It literally has been around 10 minutes since this has been resting. What I'm going to do now is to just pick from it and just roll them in some nice good size spinners. Now that we're looking at this guys, what we're going to do is to just add in our spinners. And our carrots. And just a little bit more water here guys still not finished yet we're going to add in some more season which consists of our thyme and scotch bonnet pepper garlic our scallion some more onions and just leave everything there let me just taste to make sure it doesn't need anything I think only thing it need is just a pinch more salt we're all good here so we're gonna cover it and then we return okay guys we're going to add some additional seasonings now and as you can see the stew is looking so beautiful we're going to go in with some sweet peppers you now I'd like to finish off with some fresh thyme and also I'm gonna go in with some black pepper so in the next five minutes, we can remove this off the heat and we're done with this one. Now we're going to steam some kale and our couscous guys not looking so badly at all. We're going to remove the scotch bunny pepper. It did its job and we're done with that. We're going to fluff this up now to kind of combine everything together. And you can play with your couscous and spruce it up however you like it. All right guys, don't worry about how my pot is looking. I had fry planting in it earlier now I'm going to add in some onions my carrots and now I'm going to add in my kale and the specks of bread that you have seen is from my um, Swiss I found uh, about two leaves and I didn't want them to go to waste so I just put them with the kale A little bit of seasoning and a pinch of salt and there you have it guys our brown stew set on me um with couscous and pigeon peas with some steamed kale i hope you enjoyed this video and give this recipe a try most of all now let me just share out some i think this looks so nice guys so nice and the flavor is gone right through our meat here guys tasty and our fry plantains so awesome guys thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye